Hey guys, this is Steve Tronix Fix. Today I'm back with part two of our Xbox One S fan upgrade. So in part one, I removed the original fan on the Xbox One S that a lot of people have complained about having a ticking noise or being really loud. So I could work on fitting a new aftermarket fan into the Xbox One S. So the first fan that I mentioned in the last video was the Be Quiet Silent Wings 3. PWM fan, the 120 millimeter, and then since then I've also found another fan. This one's called the Cooler Master Jetflow 120, and it's actually an LED fan, so it's got a blue light. They have several options that you can choose when you buy, but that's the other fan that we've tried. Now the reason it's taken me so long to figure out which fan is going to work the best for the Xbox One S is because I had to test them and I wanted to make sure they weren't going to overheat and they weren't going to do anything like that when I was playing a game because I don't want to recommend anything that will cause damage to your console. Now that being said, these have not been tested extensively over long periods of time. So if you're going to do this modification, please be aware that you need to watch your temperature and you need to be careful. And this is not a guaranteed thing. And please note, if you decide to try this, you do so at your own risk. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to mount the Be Quiet Silent Wings 3 because that's my favorite fan out of the two. Now the reason that it's my favorite fan is mostly because it's a much quieter fan than the JetFlow 120. The JetFlow 120 actually has higher airflow and is a more powerful fan, but it also comes at the expense of noise. This fan is a lot noisier than the Be Quiet Silent Wings 3, and so since the purpose of this is to find an Xbox One S fan that doesn't make a lot of noise, I'm gonna mount the Silent Wings 3 fan into my Xbox One S. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to mount it onto the heatsink. So in this part of the video, I'm gonna be using a pair of side cutters that I'll link up in the description, and I'm also gonna be using eight four inch zip ties. I'm using black because it matches the fan. You can clearly use whatever color you want. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is take four of the zip ties and you're gonna to wanna to cut the zip part off. So what I'm gonna do is just grab my side cutters and just cut it off like that. So then we just have this part. So once you have four of those, what you're gonna do is take one full zip tie like this and on this specific silent wings fan you've got little grooves right here that you can see so what you want to do is put the zip tie up through the fins of the fan and then up into those grooves and you want to make sure that the zip part of the full zip tie that you're putting in here is going to go at the bottom of the heat sink. Now there's plenty of space here. These zip ties will fit just fine because this is gonna fit down onto the motherboard. They won't hit or anything. I've already checked that. So we're good to go there. So the next thing after that, how we're gonna secure this is take that one part of the zippy piece of the zip tie and we're gonna install it down. Just take it and push it down all the way down to the end until we can't get it anymore. We want it nice and tight so the fan doesn't slip around. And then after it's nice and tight, we're just gonna take our side cutters and cut it off like that. So this is what it should look like. You got a little piece there, and then it's gonna be right, uh, right on this corner, and then you're gonna do the other corners next. So we're gonna have one here, here, and then down here. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Now once you're done with all four of the zip ties, you should have a fan that sits nicely onto the heat sink, doesn't move around, um, and it's nice and tight on there. So once that's done, then we can install our fan and heat sink back into the console. Also, please keep in mind, there may be other good ways to do this. This is just the best way that I thought of in the short amount of time that I had. Now for this part, I do have the fan loose in here just so we can get a better view of how this part of the wiring goes. So at this point, as you can see, we have a lot of extra wiring. We've got the adapter that goes from the motherboard to the fan that plugs right into the fan. So that's gonna need to plug in there, but then we also have all this extra wiring. One of the ways that you can fix this is you can actually wrap it around and fit it right down between the heat sink and the edge of the console. There's gonna be no problems there. There's plenty of areas for the air to get in, even with that wiring there. So what I'm gonna do is install the wiring all the way down around here and all the way down around here. And then I'm gonna tuck this connector 
right down in here. I'm going to try to show you where it's going to go. So it's just going to get tucked right down there. And then if you do it correctly, the top of the console, the metal part of the Xbox One S is going to fit right over top of this and right snug against this rubber lip of the fan. And here we have the Xbox One S Silent Wings fan with the wiring tucked down inside almost under, not really under, but kind of right around the heat sink of the entire heat sink right here. And then the connector comes right out here, connects right here. You can, hopefully you can see the connection right there. And then some of the extra wiring just gets tucked right under the disc drive right there. That makes it nice and clean. The wires aren't flopping all over the place. And then when you put the metal cover back on, it'll just fit right on top of here. If you've done it right, it'll just fit right on top of here and there'll be no problems. It'll fit right on top, nice and snug how it should. This piece of the mesh goes against this metal part. I don't think it really matters, but it is there. So I always make sure that that doesn't get pushed down inside there. I kind of, sometimes I'll move it back a little bit with my finger to get this all the way down on there. So I'm gonna move it down on there completely. And then I will give you guys a look so you can see what it looks like. And there we have it. So if you look carefully, you can see that the rubber part of the fan is actually hitting right against the top of this case. And that's right where it needs to be. So that creates a nice tight seal between this metal piece and the fan. And that's what you want because that'll keep this exhaust air coming out the top and not going back into your console. So this is exactly what we're looking for. And so far this fan looks great. Now we have our fan installed under the metal plate. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on. It'll take just a minute. And there we have the fan spinning. So here we have the JetFlow 120 installed on the Xbox One S. Now please make a note, if you decide you want to install this onto your Xbox, this piece right here is gonna be have to be taken off. There's two bolts right there that hold on on. You can just remove that, because that's gonna to need to be taken off in order for the metal piece to fit down over it. And here we have the JetFlow 120 installed with the metal piece on. You can see the blue LEDs, which look cool. You can't see them quite as good, because I got some bright lights on. But it looks pretty cool and if I was going just for the look, I would pick this one because it would look really cool with the white, pe the white cover back on and the blue shining through. And they also have some other colors as well. So this is a cool one for the looks. I still would recommend the Silent Wings 3 for the function if it was me. Now there are a few other things that I forgot to mention. One of them is that part of the reason this took so long is because I wanted to make sure the PWM function of these fans did work. Now for any of you that didn't watch part one, the PWM is basically the console turning the fan on faster or slower depending on how hot it is. And I can verify that the PWM functions, at least on these fans for my modification work just fine. This fan is louder, gets, uh, it turns on and turns up quicker and is louder, but it does work also on the Silent Wings 3, so both fans work just fine in that regard. Thanks so much for keeping up with my channel. If there's a question that I didn't answer here, please just ask it in the comment section and I will be happy to answer it there. Thanks again for watching. Keep an eye on the channel. We got lots of other videos coming up. Thanks for subscribing and have a great night.